Good morning class. Today we will start with the first chapter of geography, the earth in the solar system. This chapter is very interesting and we have been reading it in science as well as in geography. Let's begin the chapter. How wonderful it is to watch the sky after sunset. One would first notice one or two bright dots shining in the sky. Soon you would see the number of increasing number increasing. You cannot count them anymore. So you must have noticed that after like the sunset in the evening there are dots in the sky and that number increases after some time that is the star. They are very they appear to us very small the reason being that they are very very far from us. So and they are bright and sometimes it appears as if they are like it is another you know, the brightness is uh, more and then it is dim then again bright that is the twinkling of the stars. It seems as if sky is studded with diamonds. They all appear to be twinkling. But if you look at them carefully, you will notice that some of them do not twinkle as others do. They simply glow without any flicker just as the moon shines. Along with these bright objects, you may also see the moon on most of the days. It may, however, appear at different times, in different shapes and at different positions. You can see the full moon only one in about a month's time. It is full moon night or Purnima. A fortnight later, you cannot see it at all. It is a new moon night or Amavasya. On this day, you can watch the night sky best provided it is a clear night. So, you must have noticed that on the day Diwali falls, it is always Amavasya. You will not see the moon that day. Do you wonder why can't we see the moon and all those bright tiny objects during daytime? It is because the very bright light of the sun does not allow us to see all these bright objects of the night sky. The sun, the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies. Some celestial bodies are very big and hot. They are made up of gases. They have their own heat and light which they emit in large amount. These celestial bodies are called stars. The sun is a star. Countless twinkling stars in the night sky are similar to sun, but we do not feel their heat or light and they look so tiny because they are very, very far from us. This is what I was telling you. Okay. You must have noticed that all objects look smaller when seen from distance. How small an aeroplane looks when it is flying at a great height. While watching the night sky, you may notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars. These are called constellations. Ursa Major or Big Bear is one of such constellations. One of the most easily recognizable constellation is the Saptarishi, which is known by like Saptarishi means seven and Sages, that is, Rishis are sages. So it's a group of seven stars that forms a part of Ursa Major constellation. You can see it in the picture. So it is a part of Ursa Major constellation. Ask someone elder in your family or neighborhood to show you more stars, planets and constellations in the sky. In ancient times, people used to determine direction during the night with the help of stars. The North Star indicates the north direction. It is also called the pole star. It always remain in the same position in the sky. We can locate the position of the pole star with the help of Saptarishi. Look at the figure. You will notice that if an imaginary line is drawn joining the pointers, pointer stars and extended further, it will point to pole star. Some celestial bodies do not have their own heat and light. They are lit by the light of the stars. Such bodies are called planets. The pl word planet comes from the Greek word planteo and it means wanderers. The earth on which we live is a planet. It's get, it gets all its heat and light from the sun, which is our nearest star. If we look at the earth from a greater distance, say the moon, it will appear to be shining just as the moon. The moon that we see in the sky is a satellite. It is companion of our earth and moves round it. Like our earth, there are seven other planets that get heat and light from the sun. Some of them 
have their moons too. Interesting fact, Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus have rings around them. These are belts of small debris. These rings may be seen from the earth with the help of powerful telescope. The solar system, the sun, eight planets, satellites and some other celestial bodies known as asteroids and meteoroids form the solar system. We often call it a solar family with the sun as its head. Please draw this diagram which is there uh, on the solar system in your notebook and do color them. The sun. The sun is a center of solar system. It is huge and made up of extremely hot gases. It provides the pulling force that binds the solar system. The sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system. But that tremendous heat is not felt so much by us because despite being our nearest star, it is far away from us. The sun is about 150 million kilometers away from earth. So, Comparatively, it is very close to us, but like in comparison to the other stars, but otherwise it is far off. Do you know, so in Roman mythology is the sun god, solar means related to the sun. The family of sun is therefore called the solar system. Write down as many words during the, uh, using the word solar on your own as much as you can. Word origin. Okay, many words used in a language may have taken from some other language. Geography, for example, is an English word. It has its origin in Greek, which relates to the description of the earth. It is made up of two Greek words, G means meaning earth and graphia meaning writing. Find out more about earth. So, humans have always been fascinated gazing at night, the sky. Those who study the celestial bodies and their movements are called astronomers. Aryabhat was a famous astronomer of ancient India. He said that moon and the planets shine due to reflect sunlight. Today, astronomers all over the world are busy exploring the universe. All the eight planets of the solar, uh, sorry, planets we have to begin. There are two, there are eight planets in our solar system in order of their Distance from the Sun, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. As we can mem uh, memorize the names of the planet in, or in order of their distance from the Sun is M, V, E, M, J, S, U, N. So, we can make one sentence with this, these were initials and that is the easiest way to learn. All the eight planets of the solar system move around the sun in fixed path. These paths are elongated, they are called orbits. Mercury is nearest to sun. It takes or only about 88 days to complete one round along its orbit. Venus is considered as Earth's twin because its size and shape are very much similar to that of the Earth. Till recently, Pluto was also considered a planet. However, in a meeting at International Astronomical Union, a decision was taken that Pluto, like other celestial objects discovered in recent past, may be called dwarf planet. The Earth. The Earth is the third nearest planet to the Sun. In size, it is the fifth largest planet. It is slightly flattened in the, at the poles. That is why its shape describes as geoid. Geoid means an Earth-like shape. Conditions favorable to support life are probably found only on earth. The earth is neither too hot nor too cold. It has water and air, which are very essential for our survival. The air has life-supporting gases like oxygen. Because of these reasons, the earth is a unique planet in the solar system. From the outer space, the earth appears blue because its two-thirds surface is covered by water. It is therefore called a blue planet. So it is the unique feature of earth that it is the only planet which supports life. The moon. Our earth has only one satellite that is the moon. Its diameter is only one quarter that of the earth. It appears so big because it's nearer to our planet than other celestial bodies. It is about 384-400 kilometers away from us 
now you can compare the distance of the earth from the sun and that from the moon the moon moves around the earth in an about 27 days it takes exactly the same time to complete one spin as a result only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth the moon does not have conditions favorable for life it has mountains plains and depressions on its surface these cast shadows on the moon's surface look at the full moon and observe these shadows what is a satellite it's a celestial body that moves around the planet in the same way as the planet move around the sun so and there are a lot of human made satellites asteroids apart from the stars planets and satellites there are numerous tiny bodies which also move around the sun they are known as asteroids and they are found between the orbits of mars and jupiter scientists are of the view that the asteroids are part of planet which exploded many years back meteoroids the small pieces of rock which move around the sun are called meteoroids sometimes they come near the earth and tend to drop upon it during this process due to friction with the air they get heated up and burn it causes a flash of light sometimes a meteor without being completely burnt falls on the earth and creates a hollow Do you see a whistle broadband like a white glowing path across the sky on a clear starry night it is cluster of millions of stars this band is the milky way galaxy our solar system is a part of this galaxy in ancient india it was imagined to be river of light flowing in the sky thus it was named akash ganga a galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases there are millions of such gla- galaxies that make the universe it is difficult to imagine how big the universe is scientists are still trying to find out more and more about it we are not certain about its size but we know that all of us you and i belong to this universe so in, uh, like in ancient times also in our country people have been studying now uh, they these these planets and therefore this word akash ganga has been given that is then there is a galaxy where we can see that like you know it consists of billions of stars and it appears you can see the picture it appears as if the cl- it is a cloud of dust and gas but then you can see the light then uh, inside uh, like you know it is, shows as if it is there is something which is having a light can you relate yourself with the universe now obviously you can see feel that earth is a part of the universe the solar system please do all the questions draw that diagram in your notebook be safe at home take care of yourselves Thank